hello and welcome back to the channel for today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to sew a notched blazer jacket so if it's your first time viewing my channel please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet seen the drafting video of this particular pattern i'm going to leave the link at the description box and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always watching and supporting my channel so here is my pattern i've gone ahead to place it and i added half inch round on the pattern so this is the front pattern and this is what it looks like so for this part that has the lapel i used the anchor for the lining so you're going to see the reason why i did that when i'm joining next i'll be bringing up the back pattern and this is what i have for the back pattern so for this particular pattern you're going to cut out your lining and you're going to also cut out your hair stay to iron on the lining so going back to the front part so first we are going to start with the front pattern we are going to work with the front pattern first and i'm gonna head to unpin my pattern next i will be arranging it accordingly so since i cut out the anchor also as the lining i'll be picking it one by one so that you won't get confused so i'm going to pick this part and i'm going to join with half inch this way and this is what i'm going to have and next i'm going to take another part of it and i'm going to pin it so i'm going to pin it in a way that the front part the lapel part will be facing each other so please don't be confused but if you're confused please leave your question at the comment section so as you can see this is the front part of this blazer jacket and you can see how i placed it the lapel part facing the other part so i'm just going to keep this aside so i'm just going to bring out the lining part so for the lining part you're going to cut out her stay and you're going to iron so the part facing the lapel i cut it out with anchor just like i mentioned earlier because after stitching it when you turn your lapel the back part will be in front like when you flip it that part will be facing the front part so that's why i did it so you're going to go ahead to iron hair stay on this and i'm going to iron hair stay only on my fabric and i'll join moving over to the back this is what i have and i went ahead to add half inch round so i'm just going to unpin my pattern for joining so after unpinning your pattern what you're going to do is you're going to place them accurately so please don't be confused this material you can't really tell the difference between the front and the back so what you're going to do right now you're going to pin it from the back this way remember the back is cut into four pieces so you're going to join it in a way that it is going to still form one piece at the back after joining that side you're also going to pick this other side and you're going to join it with half inch so after pinning it up this is what your back is going to look like so you're just going to join it with half inch and on the lining part you're going to iron hair stay to your lining to give it strength and on your anchor you can go ahead to iron hair stay on it also if you want to so i'll just go ahead and i'll stitch it up with half inch and i'm going to bring it to show you what i have so after stitching the front part with half inch at both sides this is what my front part looks like and as you can see i ironed her stay to this part of the front so you can actually iron her stay to all the parts of your main fabric so next i'm going to bring out the back pattern also which i have joined and i'm also going to show you what i did at that point so bringing over the back part this is what i have and i'm just going to go ahead to join it with half inch on the shoulder and make sure after joining you're going to iron it out so what i'm going to do is to place the shoulder and i'm going to stitch it with half inch 
and on this other part i'm going to place it and i'm going to stitch it up with half inch joining the shoulder so after joining the shoulder the next thing i'm going to do is to stitch up the sides of my dress so stitching up the side i'm going to stitch with half inch so on the other side also i'm going to take my pattern and i'm going to join the shoulder with half inch and i'm going to go ahead to stitch up the sides also so moving on i'm going to bring the lining part of the front part and this is what i have so whatever i do on the main fabric i'm going to do on the lining so for my lining i ironed hair stay throughout so after joining the shoulder and joining the sides this is what i have this is what this pattern looks like so what i'm going to do next is to also go ahead and iron it back so that it will be flat enough because it's looking a bit rumpled next we are going to cut out the sleeve of this particular dress to cut the sleeve you're going to place your tape and you will get the length of your sleeve and i'll be adding one inch to it because i'll be using half to join to the lining and half to the upper part of the dress so i told you there are two ways of cutting the sleeve for a blazer so for this particular tutorial i made use of a basic sleeve so what i'm just going to do is to measure out what i have here so exactly what i have here is my armhole circumference divided by two which is 16 and one inch is allowance that we added to this pattern that's i have nine here then plus my joining allowance half but the round measurement i have is nine directly so what i'm going to do is place my tape mark that half inch from that half inch i'm going to measure my sleeve cap so after marking my sleeve cap what i'm going to do next is i'm going to make sure i have nine inches from the beginning to the that part i have my sleeve cap so after drawing this i'm going to place my tape and recheck it so if it's not up to that or if it is more i'm just going to reduce it so this is just the fastest way of drafting your sleeve so after readjusting it i'm just going to make sure i have that nine inches exactly so after the nine inches i'll just be adding one that i'll one inches that i'll be using to stitch it up so after doing that i'm just going to place my tape from this point before i get to that half inch and i'm going to measure my shoulder to elbow line at that shoulder to elbow line what i'm going to do is to take my tape and measure my elbow circumference after measuring the elbow circumference i'm going to mark after marking my elbow circumference i'm going to add half inch because this is a blazer the hand is not going to be too fitted after marking that half inch i'm going to just mark one inch sewing allowance but you can use half inch for your sewing allowance and i'm going to connect it to the upper part of my sleeve so after doing that i'm going to go down to the lower part of my sleeve and at the lower part of my sleeve i'm going to measure my wrist measurement so when you're measuring it's best to measure this part of your hand so that you won't find it difficult when you're wearing your dress so after measuring that part whatever i get i'm going to divide it into two and i'm going to mark at the lower part of my sleeve so i'm going to place my tape mark and i'm going to add half inch for ease and then i'll go ahead and mark one inch back for just sewing allowance you can go ahead and use half so what i'm going to do right now is to cut this out so i'll be cutting out two pieces of this for the sleeve and i'm also going to place this and trace it for my lining at the upper part i'll just add that half inch for joining allowance at the upper part so i've gone ahead to cut out my sleeve this is what i have and i'm also going to cut the same for my lining and i'm going to add an interfacing to my sleeve also but that will be on the lining part of my sleeve so what i'm going to do i'll go ahead to mark that one inch sewing allowance and i'm going to stitch it up so i'll be repeating this for also the lining 
so this is it for the sleeve i've gone ahead to stitch this up and this is what it looks like so i'm going to repeat this process for the lining just like i said so next step i will be taking is to attach this sleeve to the front part of my dress so i'm going to take my sleeve and i'll go ahead to notch the center the notch part of my sleeve will be facing the shoulder joining next i will be placing it on the shoulder this way i'll be placing the right side facing the right side and i'll be pinning it around the armhole part so after i'm done pinning it right this is what i have and i'll go ahead to stitch it with half inch right inside so i'll be repeating this process for also the other part of the sleeve and the lining part of my sleeve also so next i will be working on the other part of the sleeve just like i did this i'm just going to pick up the other side and i'm going to repeat the same process by marking out my sewing allowance stitching it down and i will join it to the armhole next thing we'll be working on is the collar so i cut it on fold so i added half inch around it but by the edge this way i did not add so i cut out the main fabric that i'm working with for this for both the lining and the main fabric and this is what i have so there are two ways of attaching this sleeve so you can go ahead and place it and i cut out a gum stay for the shoe that for the collar sorry you can go ahead and place it this way and stitch it and then you can attach it to your shoulder at once or you're just going to take one part of the collar and you're going to place and stitch so whatever you're doing make sure you take note of that one inch at the lapel we came in by drafting it at the lapel we left one inch plus this half inch allowance so you'll be having 1.5 so from there you're just going to place whatever you have and you're going to stitch it round and you're going to take the other part and stitch on your lining so i've gone ahead to stitch this at the collar parts so you're going to notch around and you're also going to repeat this for the lining so whatever process i'm taking for the main fabric is the same process you're going to take for the lining piece also so this is my lining piece and i have gone ahead to attach my sleeve and attach the collar just like i said so right now i placed the right side of my lining facing the right side of my fabric so what i'm trying to do now is to turn my blazer so what i'll do is i'm going to take my sleeve and i'm going to pass it through the main fabric this way so after passing it do not stitch at the edge or at the end of the sleeve so after doing this part i'm also going to repeat this for the other parts so i'm also doing this for the other parts of this sleeve i'm going to take it this way and i'll put it inside the blazer so if there's any process you don't understand why sewing this please leave your question at the comment section so after turning it in this is what i have so the next thing we are going to do right now is to make sure each part meets because we are going to stitch the blazer right round so you're just going to let all the parts of your blazers meet right now we are going to top stitch round with half inch so at your sleeve part please do not stitch you're just going to leave it that way because if you stitch it now it's going to come out separate after sewing it you're just going to turn it in this way and leave it so going over to the main fabric you're going to place your collar meeting the back collar and you're going to stitch with half inch round all the way you're going to stitch place this part and make sure it meets so it's safer to pin it down with your pin to make sure you get exactly what you want you're going to make sure all the parts mix together when you're pinning it down so after doing that you're just going to follow it right round and you're going to stitch so here is mine right now i have gone ahead to stitch it down so after stitching it you're going to open it up at the lining part the lining at the back you're just going to open one part of your lining so from the middle part of your lining at the back you're just going to 
turn it to the right side so you're going to turn it gently to avoid tearing off any part of your dress so after turning this is what i have this is what the blazer jacket is looking like so it's for you to iron it out and for it to be relaxed so this is my sleeve just like i said what you're going to do you're going to take the lining part and you're going to put it right back into your sleeve again just like you did when you were sewing it so this is why i said you should not join the tip because it's going to come out separate so after doing that this is what you're going to do you're going to take this part you're going to fold it in with half inch at both sides and you're going to go ahead to top stitch round it so with that you're going to have a neat finishing after doing that and after doing this, I'll just go ahead to iron out my blazer. So this is what I have after I'm done sewing. So if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment at the comment section and also share this video. Thanks.